सदाशिवसरंभां शंकराचार्यमध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा सुखम नित्यम स्वप्रकाशम व्यापक नाम अधिष्ठान बुद्ध्यबोध्यम बुद्धिर्दृग्यप्त निर्मल अपारम सर्वेदेद्यम प्रत्यपरम तदेवाह न मोन्दी मे निश्चिता मति विचार सागर फोर्थ चैप्टर पेज 127 हंड्रेड टॉपिक 222 फर्स्ट लाइन ब्रह्मन रसना घ्राण श्रोत्राण विषय रसनेन्द्रियण रसज्ञान घ्राणेन्द्रियण गंधज्ञान श्रोत्रेण शब्द ज्ञान चाते रसगंधशब्देभ्य विलक्षण ब्रह्म तस्मासना घ्राण श्रोत्र ब्रह्मण ज्ञान जायते अशब्दमस्पर्शमूपम्यय तथा रसम निगंधवच्छत परांचिका व्यतृण स्वयं भू तस्मात्परां पश्यति नातरात्म ब्रह्मण इंद्रिय विषय इंद्रिया विषय बोध्य वी आर् सींग दि आर्ग्युमेंट आफ तत्वृष्टि दि उत्तम अधिकारी आफ दिस् विचार सागर टेक्स्ट हिज अबजेक्शन ईज ब्रह्म अपरोक्ष ज्ञान इज नाट पॉसिबल अपरोक्ष ज्ञान एलोन इज कॉल्ड एज प्रत्यक्ष ज्ञान डायरेक्ट नॉलेज इन इंग्लिश सो ब्रह्म डायरेक्ट नॉलेज इज नाट पॉसिबल वाई इट इज नाट पॉसिबल बिकॉज डायरेक्ट नॉलेज इज दैट वेन द सेंस ऑर्गॉन्स कॉन्टैक्ट विद दट सेंस ऑब्जेक्ट then only that knowledge of that object will take place since brahman doesn't have any form color etc brahman cannot be experienced directly therefore direct knowledge or aparoksha gnanam with regard to brahman is impossible that is the contention of puro pakshi like tatva drishti tatva drishti playing a like a puro pakshi role here he himself raises the objection and he himself gives a lot of options and finally a guru gives that answer what is that uh, next uh, point uh, he discussed avatara आलसो सगुण ईश्वर अवतार दर्शन साक्षात्कार आलसो कैनाट बी कंसिडर्ड एज लिबरेशन इन शास्त्र दट आलसो ई पॉइंटेड अवट बिकॉज अवतार हैपन टू बी सगुण ब्रह्म हैपन टू बी निर्गुण निर्गुण ब्रह्म ज्ञान एलोन कैन गिव मोक्ष नाट सगुण ईश्वर साक्षात्कार this is also very clearly said in shastra while talking about that he discussed about the difference between avatara and jeeva janma avatara is one who is not 
um, taken the form out of any punya papa karma like a jiva jivas are all born out of their own punya papa karma whereas bhagavan is not born out of any punya papa karma of his own but he is born out of uh, what na he is born out of uh, his own will he has taken the avatara because of bhakta's uh, desire then the second difference we saw jivas are born out of uh, pan- panchabhutas panchabhutika shariram that is why jivas are different from ishvara ishvara's body is our avatar body is made out of not made we can say appear because of maya that is why his body is called maikam maika shariram ishvara has got jiva we the jivas have got bhautika shariram this is the second difference we saw in the previous classes and the third difference also between rama lord rama avatara krishna avatara and the jivas that is lord as an avatara doesn't have any attachment with the body or with any possessions even though he is a creator srishti karta sthiti karta laya karta there is no ahankara and mamakara aham mama vilakshana na aham mama abhimana is not there for ishvara whereas for jivas there is an avidya aham mama abhimana is there then the fourth difference we saw avatara need not go to a guru and study shastra because avatara is free from avidya ignorance self ignorance whereas jivas have got uh, avidya self ignorance they have to go to a guru and uh, study the mahavakya and get the knowledge afterwards another last point also visa once that knowledge comes jivan mukta um, attain gnanam second time there is no prayojanam of that uh, aham brahma asmi vritti another difference is <laughs> maya vritti for ishvara how ishvara has got gnanam he didn't get gnanam ishvara is sarvagnya gnanavan sarvada therefore maya vritti is taken place in ishvara whereas in jiva antakarana vritti in that gnanam takes place so these are all the differences we completed in the last class then uh, first time second time the vritti repetition is not there with regard to ishvara whereas jiva that first time he get aparoksha gnanam brahma gnanam aham brahma asmi gnanam there is a prayojanam for him then second time that vritti repeatedly comes aham brahmasmi vritti there is no prayojanam <coughs> for a gnani mumuk also jeevan mukta also first time only prayojanam is there for a jeeva <coughs> second time there is no prayojanam because because he is already a gnani there is no need of aham brahmasmi vritti once again once of all first he get gan gnanam jeeva is ever gnani only after gnanam he is ever did gnani only whereas paramatma the avatar is always gnani only there is no first time prayojanam or second time not having prayojanam that case that will not come in the case of bhagavan so these are the differences we saw in the last classes then bhagavan says people not knowing my real nature avajananti maam mudha hat manushim tanu maashritam param bhava majanantaha mama bhuta maheshwaram so people do not know my real nature 
they take my krishna avataram or rama avataram as real and uh, they think that the darshanam is uh, final liberation but it is not so lord krishna said already but uh, very very um, no refined students can grasp that uh, shloka of lord krishna what he said but gross minded students will gloss over that statement manushim tanu maashritam moodaha bhagavan krishna said avajananti they know me as manushya manava roopam but they do not know that's why he gave the title also moodaha but these people never focus on that word moodaha but they take that avatara as real then what is real na rama the as consciousness krishna as consciousness is real that is what we have to say nedam edidam upasate whatever you do as an object ishvara is mithya once you say bhagwan as an object in sitting in vaikuntha sitting in kailasa sitting in any other loka as an object if you say it is uh, that ishvara is mithya there is uh, no doubt shastra only says that's why you should not be selective those people they are selective when shastra talks about ishvara avataram you appreciate it and when shastra negate that it is lower nature of bhagavan you have to accept it one day or other you have to come to that but you should not uh, um, negate the teacher who is talking the truth uh, what is said in shastra that is called selective amnesia okay so therefore what bradharinyaka says many times yonyam devatam upaste anyoso anyoham asmiti nasameda sah devanam pashuhun the one who sees bhagwan is different he is different he is sitting somewhere i am here yaha anyam devatam upaste sah anyaha aham anyaha iti nasameda he doesn't know anything not only that he is like a carrier of like a donkey carrier of that um, you know the phalam to the devatas he is not able to know sah kripanaha he is most unfortunate person if anyone sees ishvara as different from themselves so connect to 12th chapter of bhagavad gita jignasu bhakta has to become gnani bhakta so he will become gnani bhakta everyone has to become gnani bhakta otherwise you will uh, uh, stuck with that uh, what in um, vishnu sahasranama mokshaarthi moksham apnuyat putraarthi putram so dhana dharmaarthi dharmam and dhanaarthi dhanam all these said if you chant vishnu sahasranama you will get moksha you will get children you will get dhanam you will get everything all these things people take literally that in the beginning it is okay but not uh, exactly literally you take all the way all the time throughout life uh, you are unfortunate therefore there is one uh, nama sankirtana sampradaya nama sankirtana sampradaya there is a nama sankirtana darshanam also they call it as darshan that means you are the kalau kalma shatitanam you know that i used to say always so bhajana you do only in kali yuga this knowledge is difficult you need not uh, go to any vedanta class anyhow you are not going to understand it therefore do bhajana sankirtana you will get moksha this is what uh, very very popularly going on all these people are sitting in vedanta class not doing any rituals not doing any bhajana not doing any namasmaranam they are all just intellectually doing gymnastics intellectual gymnastics people criticize vedantic students so what to do we have to porumaya you have to accept them so we know how much they are having ignorance therefore we have to wait and see for them it takes a lot of time then uh, what tattva drishti said this uh, 
Brahmajnanam is not available since Argon's and previous um, topic 221. He introduced that Rasana, sorry, Netra Indriyam, Srotra Indriyam. Brahma, Tvagindriyasya Na Vishayaha. In 221, I introduced that also. So, Tvagindriyam, Brahman is uh, neither uh, having any attribute nor the, the substance endowed with attribute. That is the idea presented. Brahman is neither in the form of a Sparsha Indriyam, a Sparsha Guna. Brahman doesn't have Sparsha Guna. Brahman is not the substance endowed with Sparsha Guna. So, attribute wise, Brahman doesn't have that uh, Sparsha Guna. And Brahman doesn't have that uh, any as a substance doesn't have that uh, guna attribute. So either way we are going to refute uh, all these uh, uh, ideas of uh, and Nayayika says uh, dravyam in substance uh, without attribute it doesn't exist. Therefore they don't accept Nirguna Brahman. Nayayika, Vaisheshika, all these uh, systems of philosophies they don't accept Nirguna Brahman. All except Advaitin, nobody accept Nirguna Brahman. So we are the Advaitins, uh, accept Nirguna Brahman. There is a, a formless, attributeless Brahman is there. But Nayayika says uh, no substance can exist without any attribute. Substance is a substance when it is having an attribute according to Nayayika, Vaisheshika. So even Vishishta Advaitin also go along with Nayayika. They say Bhagavan is uh, uh, Nirgunam means uh, Bhagavan is not having Dushta Gunam. That is alone is the meaning of Nirgunam. What Vishishta Advaiti says? When Advaitin or anyone says Bhagavan is Nirgunam, Brahman is Nirgunam, that uh, they translate it as Nirgunam is equal to Dushta Guna Abhavaha. Bhagavan has got Sakala Kalyana Guna Ganaika Nilayaha. Dushta Gunas are not there. That is the meaning of Nirgunam. This is the interpretation. So, very, very difficult for them to accept Nirguna Brahman. Then in 222, this Parsha Indriyam, you see, this is the most uh, vast pervading Indriyam, Jnana Indriyam, Swag Indriyam. It pervades the whole body. Other sense organs of knowledge pervade in their own particular Golakam, but whereas the Swag Indriyam pervades the whole body. Then in 222, which I introduced, Brahmana Rasana Grana Shrotranam Vishayaha. Brahman cannot be the um, neither have Rasana Indriyam, it is not having any uh, attribute of uh, taste, attribute of um, smell, attribute of uh, Shabda sound. Shrotram Granam Gamdha Gnanam. They are not there, Rasana Indriyena Rasa Gnanam. What Rasana Indriyam does, you know, Rasa Gnanam you get, taste knowledge you get. So by Brahman tasting, you can get any taste, Brahman taste. You know. Brahman is uh, without, uh, Brahman is uh, not in the form of taste. You know. Attribute is not there. You know, Brahman, Grana Indriyena, Grandha Gnanam. So Grana Indriyam, the sense organ of uh, the smell, through that uh, you get only Gandha Gnana. Since Brahman doesn't have any Gandha smell also, you cannot know Brahman through uh, nose also. Shrotrena Shabda Gnanam, Shrotra Indriyam ear is giving only sound knowledge. That sound knowledge Jayate rise. But Rasana Grandha Shabdibhyaha Vilakshanam Brahma. Brahman is different from taste, smell and sound. 
ब्रह्मनीज अशब्दम अस्पर्शम अरूपम अव्ययम तथा रसम तथा अरसम नित्य मगंध वच्चयत तस्मात् न रसना घ्राण श्रोत्रैः ब्रह्मणः ज्ञानं जायते यू कैन नॉट गेट द नॉलेज ऑफ ब्रह्मन थ्रू टेस्ट स्मेल एंड साउंड यू कैन नॉट गेट हु सेज धर्मराज सेस शब्दम इट इज साउंडलेस अस्पर्शम टच लेस एंड अरूपम फॉर्मलेस और कलरलेस अव्ययम डी के लेस वाट एवर हेज गॉट फॉर्म कलर टेस्ट एवरीथिंग विल चेंज ब्रह्मन हैपन्स टू बी अव्ययम तथा अरसम टेस्टलेस नित्यम अगंधम इट इज ऑलवेज फ्री फ्रॉम अगंधवत वत इट डजेंट हैव स्मेल एट ऑल यत दैट इज ब्रह्मन नॉट ओनली दैट खट परांशी खानी व्यतरण स्वयं भू ऑल सेंस आर्गॉन्स मेड बाय ब्रह्मा जी ओनली टू गो आउटवर्ड्स नॉट इनवर्ड्स देयर नेचर इज गोइंग आउटवर्ड्स टू नो द साउंड्स इयर्स आर गोइंग आउटवर्ड्स टू नो द फॉर्म्स आईज आर ऑलवेज गोइंग आउटवर्ड्स to know the smell nose also going outwards paranchi khani 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 means sense organs vetranat swayam bhuhu swayam bhu means brahma ji parang pashyati they see outwards outer objects only na antaratman therefore ityadina brahmanah indriya avishayatva Brahman is not an object of sense organs. So, avishayatvam, bodhyate, taught by Upanishads, Amadharma Raja in the Katha Upanishad. Now, we will go to the next paragraph, next topic. Up to here, we saw in the last class. Now, all five sense organs of knowledge over, ruled out. Brahman cannot be known any sense organ of knowledge. नॉलेज ज्ञान इंद्रिय विलक्षण ब्रह्म नौ कर्म इंद्रिय वी हेव टू सी तत्वदृष्टि इज गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस दट टू ट्वेंटी थ्री टॉपिक ब्रह्म कर्मींद्रिया अविषय कर्मींद्रिय न ज्ञान साधन किंतु वचनादि वचनादिक्रियासाधन तस्मात्कर्मेन्द्रिय न कस्यचिदी ज्ञान जायते इत्थम न केन्द्रिण ब्रह्मणो ज्ञान जायते इंद्रियजन्यमेव ज्ञान प्रत्यक्ष तदेव अपरोक्ष कीर्त्यते तस्मात् ब्रह्मणः अपरोक्ष ज्ञानम नैव संभवति शब्देन तो यद्यपि ब्रह्मज्ञानमुत्पद्यते तथापि शब्दज्ञानस्य परोक्षत्वात् शब्दजन्य ब्रह्मज्ञानम परोक्षमेव भवेत् सो विद दिस तत्त्व दृष्टि कंक्लूड is a um, objection what is that brahma karma indriyanam api avishaya even karma indriyas sense organs of action in tattva bodha we saw what are the karma indriyas walk pani pada payu upastha like gnana indriya shabda sparsha roopa rasagandha five are there these are all uh, uh, karma indriyas or outputs karma indriya means that sense organs which are endowed with the power of doing an action karma indriyana avishaya is not an object for karma indriyas also you cannot reach brahman by walking you cannot lift your brahman with your hand 
you cannot talk about brahman brahman is so and so vagindriyam karma indriyam na gnana sadhanam it's very important message nishra dasa gives nishra sari kan tatva drishti concludes uh, his objection saying an important point gnana indriyam gives what gnanam karma indriyam gives what it cannot give anything it does karma indriyam na gnana sadhanam it is not a means of knowledge let us have uh, clear knowledge okay uh, clear knowledge about karma indriyam karma indriyam na gnana sadhanam kintu vachanaadi kriya sadhanam it is only kriya sadhanam it is a means of action karma indriyam is apramanam because karma indriyas cannot generate paroksha gnanam or aparoksha gnanam no gnanam <laughs> what to talk of paroksha and aparoksha no gnanam can be generated by karma indriyam what to talk of paroksha or aparoksha kintu vachanaadi kriya sadhanam kriya sadhanam vachana means speech talking speech is the sadhanam vachanam the speaking is the um, function of that uh, vagindriyam vachana means vagindriyam is by doing what vachanam speech is the kriya sadhana kriya means karma tasmat karmendriyehi therefore through karma indriyas कर्म इंद्रिय न कस्यचिद ज्ञानम जायते नो ज्ञानम इज पॉसिबल विथ कर्म इंद्रियम नो ज्ञानम इज पॉसिबल वाई बिकॉज दे आर नॉट ज्ञान इंद्रियम्स वाई बिकॉज दे आर कर्म इंद्रियम्स दे आर डू ओनली एक्शन इत्थम इन दिस मैनर इन दिस मैनर न के न केनापि इंद्रियेण ब्रह्मण ज्ञान जायते kenaapi indriyana means neither gnana indriyams nor karma indriyams you cannot get to brahma gnanam brahma gnanam is not possible therefore what come to my bhajana mandali come to my parayanam class why to go to vedanta class waste don't waste your time tatva drishti is telling <laughs> many students even though they are listening to shastra they never try to look into the exact meaning of shastra and uh, receiving assimilating because lack of sadhana chatushtaya sampatti because of lack of tivra mumukshutvam ar vairagyam ar viveka so when they are lacking that all these are mere words and respect is there for uh, teaching vedanta swamini is therefore they listen but it won't work unless they don't have sadhana chatushtaya sampatti don't ask me what is what are the sadhana chatushtaya sampatti kera tattva bodha okay gnanam na jayate where is na na kena api indriyana why any sansar gan you cannot get any knowledge indriya janyam eva gnanam pratyaksham ityuchyate when any knowledge you get shabda gnanam rasa gnanam gandha gnanam rupa gnanam taste knowledge sound knowledge form knowledge touch knowledge everything you get only through sense organ tadeva paroksha pratyaksha gnanam that alone is direct knowledge that direct knowledge alone is called as aparoksha gnanam also kirtyate praised <laughs> kirtyate means it is very well known tasmat therefore brahmanah aparoksha gnanam naiva sambhavate like arjuna sitting na i won't don't want to fight in this battlefield and he left his bow and arrow and sat the purpose of coming to the war, war field he uh, has forgotten so he dropped his uh, uh, bow and arrow and sat what lord krishna has to say 
teaching nasato vidyate bhavaha again started teaching like that here also tattva drishti finally pratyaksha gnanam or aparoksha gnanam of brahman naiva sambhavate means impossible it can never happen so formally he says okay <laughs> ಶಬ್ದೇನ ತು ಯದ್ಯಪಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನ ಉತ್ಪದ್ಯತೆ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಸಿ ನೌ ಇನ್ ಷಟ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣಸ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಅನುಮಾನ ಉಪಮಾನ ಅರ್ಥಾಪತ್ತಿ ಅನುಪಲಬ್ಧಿ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಷಟ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಶಬ್ದ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಒನ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ವೈದಿಕ ಶಬ್ದ ನಾಟ್ ಲೌಕಿಕ ಶಬ್ದ ವೈದಿಕ ಶಬ್ದೇನ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಶಬ್ದೇನ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನ ವಿ ಸೇ now he is going to refute that also shabdam also cannot give shabdena tu yadyapi brahma gnana mutpadyate even through shabda in that six pramanas five sense organs pratyaksha pramanam anumana upamana arthapatti anupalabdhi and shabda finally you say also certain words can remove your ignorance tathapi even that also ಶಬ್ದಜ್ಞಾನಸ್ಯ ಪರೋಕ್ಷತ್ವಾತ್ ಈವನ್ ಶಬ್ದಜ್ಞಾನ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಶಬ್ದಜ್ಞಾನ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇಂಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಇಂಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ಲಿಬರೇಷನ್ ಯು ದಿ ವೈದ್ವೈತಿನ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಅಪರೋಕ್ಷ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಮೈ ಗುರು ನೋಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಐ ಗೆಟ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪರೋಕ್ಷ ಜ್ಞಾನ i have to understand i have to get aparoksha gnanam therefore shabda gnanam gives only paroksha gnanam aparoksha gnanam cannot come therefore janyam brahma gnanam okay paroksha twat shabda gnanam shabda janya brahma gnana since it is if at all the brahma gnanam comes through the words of upanishads to the words of veda vedas mahavakyas that is shabdam only you only said shabda gnanam gives knowledge that shabda is also gives only paroksha gnanam shabda paroksha twat shabda janya brahma gnanam paroksha meva bhavet therefore it is indirect knowledge only what is the use of indirect knowledge Direct knowledge alone gives moksha, you said. Indirect knowledge cannot give moksha, you said. Therefore, therefore what? Therefore, better uh, go back, not to study. Tattva drishti. Conclusion. There is no use of studying Shastra. Now, the answer comes. But uh, Nishala Dasa is going to give the answer. ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಪೂರ್ವೋಕ್ತ ಪ್ರಶ್ನ ಉತ್ತರ ಸುಖ ದುಃಖಾದಿ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಭಾಷ್ಯತ್ವಾತ್ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಸಂಬಂಧ ವಿನ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಜ್ಞಾನ ನ ಜಾಯತೆ ನಿಯಮೋ ನಾಸ್ತಿ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಸಂಬಂಧ ವಿನ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಜ್ಞಾನ ನೋದೇತಿ ನಿಯಮೋ ನಾಸ್ತಿ ಸುಖ ದುಃಖಾದೇ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯೇಣ ಜನ್ಯತೆ ತಥಾಪಿ ಸುಖ ದುಃಖಾದೇ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ತಸ್ಮಿಯ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಜನ್ಯ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಜ್ಞಾನ ನಿಯಮ ಕಿಂತು ಯಾ ವಿಷಯ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಸಂಬದ್ಧ ವಿಷಯಾಕಾರ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಜಾಯತೆ ಇತ್ಯುಚ್ಯತೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಶಂಕಾ ಸಮಾಧಾನ ಪ್ರಶ್ನ ಉತ್ತರ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಶ್ನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಶಂಕ ಡೌಟ್ ಪ್ರಶ್ನ ಉತ್ತರ ಸಮಾಧಾನ ಉತ್ತರ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಮಾಧಾನ this is very familiar to all of you we are already saw this um, previously 
sukha dukha dehe sakshi bhasyatvad so there is no rule to have that direct knowledge is possible only when the sense organs contact it's not like that what is that here the conclusion sukha dukha dehe this is the heading when the pleasure and pain sukha means pleasure dukha sorrow or pain these two sukha dukha dehe how you are knowing your pleasure and pain any sense organs contacting with the sense object no but you are experiencing your pleasure and pain without any sense organs intervention sakshi bhasyatvad they are available sakshi bhasya means pratyaksha rupatvad pratyakshatvad sakshi bhasyam they are directly perceived by observed by sakshi sakshi ki pratyaksham sakshi pratyaksham is called sakshi bhasyatvad indriya sambandham vina without indriya sambandha without any sambandha or relation uh, with sense organs sakshi means what who is sakshi consciousness enclosed in the mind is called sakshi sakshi is one who is endowed with the um, enclosed in the mind enclosed within the mind is called sakshi so without indriya sambandha without any sense organs contact vina means without pratyaksha gnanam na jayate iti within inverted commas these are the words of tattva drishti vina without sense organs contact indriya onwards inverted commas pratyaksha gnanam na jayate you says o oh, tattva drishti you said that without sense organs contacting with sense object there is no direct knowledge possible you said na jayate iti niyamah nasti that niyama that general rule is not accepted there is a possibility there are two types of knowledge uh, sensory perception based knowledge non sensory perception based knowledge both are possible with the sensor uh, there is a sensory um direct sensory and sense organs contact bond direct knowledge is also possible non sensory without uh, sense organs contact also direct knowledge is possible that so refutation of the student um, assumption now here that so student tattva drishti's assumption is negated how niyamah nasti that is there is no such rule then what is the rule indriya sambandham vina now it's a explanation this is the heading pratigna now elaboration indriya sambandham vina without any sense organs contact pratyaksha gnanam direct knowledge pratyaksha gnanam na udeti iti niyamah nasti will not raise direct knowledge will not raise without any sense organs contact this uh, niyamah this rule is not there then what is there sukha dukha dehe gnanam the knowledge of your pleasure you are experiencing your non pleasure knowledge about your pleasure so i am so happy i am so enjoy much enjoying that sukham dukham i have this pain that pain so much of sorrow also that knowledge you are having knowledge of my own pain knowledge of my own pleasure happiness na kena api indriyena janyate it is not born out of any sense organ kena api indriyena janyate tathapi moreover sukha dukha der gnanam pratyaksham eva still it is tathapi even then even though it is not born out of uh, sense organs it is um, um, direct knowledge only pratyaksham only 
you only know your pleasure you only know your pain which sense organ is contacting at that time which object when you are enjoying or when you are suffering no indriya janya gnanam adi pratyakshama illiya my own happiness i know my own sorrow i understand i know therefore pratyakshama eva tasmat therefore therefore indriya sambandha janyam ज्ञानमेव प्रत्यक्ष ज्ञानमिति न नियम ओ तत्वृष्टि यू आर् टाकिंग 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 फ्रम सो मच टाइम ओनली डैरेक्ट नॉलेज इज पॉसिबल ओनली थ्रू इंद्रियजन्यम इट मस्ट बॉर्न आउट ऑफ सेंस आर्गा ओनली न नियम दिस इज नाट द रूल किंतु बट यदा विषयेण वृत्ति संबद्धा वेन् दृत्ति द प्रमाण द थाट ईज कनेक्टेड विथ संबद्ध मीन असोसिएटेड विथ अन आबजेक्ट विषयाकार इट गेट्स दि शेप ऑफ दट विषय आकार विषयाकार तदा प्रत्यक्ष ज्ञान जायते उच्यते Generally, we say pratyaksha jnana is possible when the vritti is contacting with the object, and that object uh, thought pervades the object. When it pervades the object, that uh, thought gets the akara of that object. Then you get direct knowledge of the pot knowledge, uh, pen knowledge, book knowledge. Jayate iti uchchate. We are saying that. देन विषयेण विषयेण सह वृत्ते संबंध क्वचि क्वचिंद्रिया क्वचि शब्द दशमस्वसी शब्द जायम अंतकरण वृत्ति दशम स्वात्म संबद्ध दशमाकारा तस्मा शब्दजन्य दशम ज्ञानमपी प्रत्यक्ष वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो तश्चलदास इज गोइंग टू एस्टाब्लिश विषय सह वृत्ते संबंध नॉलेज बोध वेज आर् पॉसिबल Sometimes, sometimes uh, indriya, uh, vishaya, contact, sambandha, jnanam comes. Okay, but sometimes, kvachid indriya dvara bhavati. Indriya dvara bhavati, sometimes without indriya, sambandha also possible. That alone is um, how kvachid shabdena bhavati. सम नॉलेज इज पॉसिबल आउट ऑफ शब्द बै वर्ड बै आप्तवाक्यम बै द वर्ड सपोज वेन यू आर् वाकिंग ऑन द रोड सो टू सिस्टर्स आर् वाकिंग आर् ब्रदर्स आर् वाकिंग सम सिस्टर ब्रदर वाकिंग एंड पर्सन शी इज नाट लुकिंग एट द ट्राफि सपोज वेहिकल इज कामिंग शी इज लुकिंग एट सैड शी डेंट सी द आबजेक्ट But when brother say, say, don't uh, see the traffic is coming, you know, don't go that side. Suddenly, she didn't see, but that shabda, she gave knowledge to that uh, person. So one person's uh, um, caution, don't uh, go that side. But so vehicle is coming, you know. So that shabda is helping her or not? So immediately she come back. लाइक दैट शब्द क्वचि शब्द ज्ञान दशम वाट इज द एक्सापल हि गिवस् वेल नोन एक्सापल वेरी फेमस् एक्सापल हि गिवस् दट एक्सापल इज टेन्त मैन टेन्त मैन यू नो परमानंद शिष्यास वेन दे आर् क्रॉसिंग द रिवर् आफ्टर टू रीच दट शोर and uh, when after crossing started counting one by one when the counting that 10th man is counting all the students shishyas 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन then uh, nine only coming and another student also came and asked him stand in one line again counting everybody is counting not counting themselves one self so the tenth man is not counting himself as the tenth man so they are crying and hitting their head to the tree also how to answer to my guru uh, the tenth man is died drowned he died and uh, crying then there one mahatma comes that that side aptavakyam it is called shabdam dashamah now i will tell you count start counting that guru asked them to count again this boy started counting and after counting 9 dashamah the 10th man tvamasi you are you are the 10th man that guru says shabdam that is shabda gnanam therefore look into the line dashamah tvamasi this is the statement done by that guru apta vakyam it is called dashamah 10th man tvam you are asi you are the 10th man ityatra in this case in this example shabda gnana shabda shabdat jayamana antakarana vritti he you see when that mahatma said you are the 10th man you are the 10th man that shabda has created generated what that shabdat jayamanam because of that dashamahatvam as shabdat jayamanam that what is arisen antakarana vritti there is a thought arise in the mind of that 10th man dashamena swatvana sambaddha because of that thought when the shabda said uttered by that mahatma 10th man you are what is this 10th man did dashamen swatmana that vritti happened taken place yes i am the 10th man swatmana sambaddha that vritti uh, that mahatma shabda generated the thought i am the 10th man thought both are connected apta vakyam generated the vritti in his mind 10th man's mind and sambaddha dashamakara bhavati that shabda of that mahatma that dashamahatmamasi 10th man you are had happened the vritti gets the shape aakara of the 10th man dashamakara means 10th form 10th form aakara means form 10th man aakara that vritti has transformed tasmat shabda janya dashama gnanam api pratyaksham eva now this 10th man has got the knowledge that i am the 10th man is it direct knowledge or indirect knowledge i am the 10th man is direct knowledge or indirect knowledge direct knowledge because of the uh, knowledge knowing that i am the 10th man they stop crying not only 10th man crying all are crying now they stop crying everybody stop crying and they make a you know, lot of galata oh jolly 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 oh 10th man is alive 10th man is alive nobody died now you are safe now happy they are happy so therefore sambandhah kintu tasyah vrittih sorry had dashamakara bhavati tasmad shabda janya dashama gnanam api even that gnanam i am the 10th man you are the 10th man mahatma said what this shishya has to say he should not say you are the 10th man again what shishya has to say i am the 10th man <coughs> aham dashamah asmi guru said whoever gives apta vakyam is a guru okay that mahatma is a guru apta vakyam is dashamah tvamasi you are the 10th man this 10th boy what he has to say he should not repeat the same way 10th man dashamah tvamasi he has to convert it into prathama uh, uttama purusha 
दशम अहमस्मी दशम अहमस्मी दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल क्लासिकल एग्जाम्पल इन द ट्रेडिशन ऑल द वे टू टेक यू टू तत्वसी महावाक्य वेन गुरु सेस तत्व असी शिष्य हेज टू से अहम ब्रह्म अस्मि तत्वसी महावाक्य वेन गुरु सेस इट इज शब्द मोल्ली सो दिस दशम तमसी दशम अहमस्मी यू पुट दैट इन दाष्टा तत्वसी अहम ब्रह्म अस्मि दशम तमसी प्लेस यू हाव टू पुट वाट गुरुस वाक्य महावाक्य तत्वसी शब्द वैदिक शब्द वाक्यम उपनिषद वाक्यम महावाक्यम शब्द कैन दट शब्द जनरेट नॉलेज तत्व दृष्टि से इट कैन नाट जनरेट बिकाज शब्द ज्ञान गिवस ओनली इंडरेक्ट नॉलेज इंडरेक्ट नॉलेज कैन नाट गिव लिबरेशन सो दिस पर्सन आलो क्रईंग तत्व दृष्टि आलो स्क्रैचिंग हिस हेड हौ टू गेट अप्रोक्ष ज्ञान हौ टू गेट अप्रोक्ष ज्ञान Guru says, "And my good, my dear student, don't worry. Sometimes Shabda Gnanam gives direct knowledge, like Dashamahatvamasi case. In that case, how it happened? Same way here also, it happens. What happens? Ham Brahmasmi Gnanam also direct knowledge comes. Further continuation, Pratyakshamiva." I am the tenth man is pratyaksha gnanam even though it is a shabda gnanam who said shabdam cannot generate uh, direct knowledge generated like that further next paragraph tathaiva pramatare sukha dukha dyutpatti kale antakaranasya vrittihi sukha khara dukha kara cha bhavati तया वृत्या सह सुख दुखा देहे संबंधो जायते तस्मा दुखा देर्ज्ञान प्रत्यक्ष ज्ञानमुच्यते पूर्वोक्त सॉरी पूर्वोत्पन्न सुख दुखा देहे नाशा यदा पुरुष तादृशुखदुखादिज्ञान जायते तथा सुखदुखाद्याकार अंतकृत्तिदेति किंतु तस्याह वृत्ते नष्ट सुखदुखादि सुखदुखादीन संबंधो नास्ती अतः तज्ञान स्मृति न प्रत्यक्ष now he differentiate what is smruti gnanam what is aparoksha gnanam tatha eva tatha eva like that alone here also pramatari pramata means mind plus i put together pramata the knower mind serving as an instrument and object also Uh, is there suppose two forms of vrittis will take place gnana vritti and vishaya vritti so both join together normally so vishaya um, rupa vritti vishaya gnana vritti sukha vritti dukha vritti all these are thoughts so sukha vritti happiness thought sorrowful thought all these are how they are happening i you are getting pratyaksha gnana without indriya sambandha sukha dukham sukha dukha dyutpatti kale when the sukha and dukha utpatti vritti utpatti uh, joyful thought sorrowful thought these two thoughts utpatti kale at the time of their arrival at the time of their arrival utpatti kale antakaranasya vritti in that antakarana vritti uh, antakarana vritti means gnana gnana vritti gnana vritti means what sukha gnanam 
अंड दुख ज्ञान वृत्ति ही सुखाकारा दुखाकारा च भवत इट टेक्स द फॉर्म ऑफ सुखाकारम एंड दुखाकार द वृत्ति गेट्स द शेप ऑफ लाइक पॉट शेप वृत्ति गेट्स अ पॉट शेप वृत्ति गेट क्लॉथ शेप लाइक दैट हियर सुखाकारम दुखाकारम भवति सो द मोर विल सी डिटेल इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमीद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्छते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम